I'm Gary Cassie. For nine years I had debt I couldn't pay, which brought on panic attacks, antidepressants, until the kingdom of God drastically changed my life. Now I want to help you fix the money thing. America's financial coach, Gary Cassie, wants to mentor you in the kingdom principles that will set you free. If you put God's principles in place, you will prosper. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to another edition of Fixing the Money Thing. I'm Gary Cassie. And I'm Drenda. And we're so glad you joined us today because, you know, we want to help people with their finances and in their life. Years ago, we mm. faced terrible financial issues. <laughs> and it That's hurt true. us not only financially, but it yeah. hurt us emotionally. It hurt our marriage. The pressure was so intense. So we love today to help people get out of pressure financially, to learn God's kingdom as we answer questions. Every that's month we do this on our webinar, don't That's we? why it's called fixing the money thing, because we went nine years totally in desperate debt, antidepressants, panic attacks, everything broken, until we discovered the kingdom of God. And, you know, Drenda, nothing happens by accident. There's principles that we applied. People ask, well, how did that happen? How did those changes happen? I mean, for nine, it's a long time, nine years to live like that, and then move to a different way of life. And how did that happen? Well, there are principles that to God had to teach us. And the good news is you don't have to go through all that junk like we did because we're here telling you how to avoid it. That's right. And so, you know, every month, Drenda, we offer to our partners a webinar where we invite them to to Bring send questions. questions in. Yes. And so we thought it'd be nice today as if we have questions that have come in and we're just going to answer them. I have not looked at them in great detail. I have not, you know, we'll just dialogue these questions. But this is an example of mentorship. And without, let me say it this way, you're where you're at right now because of where you're at. Does that make sense? You're where you're at right now because you're where you're at, because that's where you're at. And you're where you're at because you're limited from what you know. In other words, you're where you're at because of some reason. And we want to help you understand there's a way out of that spot. Mm -hmm. And the first thing is to recognize that what you've already known is not enough or you would have already changed. Mm -hmm. So mentorship is important that people that have moved to a different spot in life and how they did that, it's called mentorship, or discipleship. It's important that we mentor and train people That's on right. the principles That's that God right. used uh, to get us free. That's right, because it's not just the spiritual truth, it's a practical That's principles. Right. You apply we them. need them both. Exactly. And so Gary and I have worked in finances for all these years. Mm -hmm. We've learned a lot of things practically, but the most important things we've learned are the kingdom. Yeah. And so when you combine the two though, and I do think it's important we answer people's questions and mentor them because you can hear Gary or I teach the word of God, but applying it sometimes to your personal situations, that's where things can get a little tricky. So today we're going to take the time to answer some of your questions like we do every month on Team Revolution for our partners. We're going to yep. do that today on the program. Yeah, sounds great. So let's great. get started. Are you ready? It might be a question you have, so right. let's just jump All into right. it. First of all, Gary, Nancy wants to know, how do you know when it's time to leave a career job? Uh, what if there's nothing else on the horizon yet, especially for a risk adverse person? A risk adverse person. Let me talk to uh, Nancy, you say. Mm -hmm. Nancy, there's no such thing as no risk. First off, you need to write that down somewhere. You're never going to move forward without facing risk, okay? But you can face risk confidently if you'll follow the principles of God. In other words, there's calculated risk. And there's principles. In other words, if uh, let's say you wanted to uh, drop a, a, a ball on the ground, you would not consider that risk because the law of gravity dictates the ball is going to drop. In the same way as you learn the laws of God, risk doesn't appear as risk because the laws dictate the return. Now, when is it time to leave a job? Can you afford to leave a job? That's the first thing I'd ask. In other words, do you have other income lined up to replace the income you have, or do you have savings enough to provide for the direction you feel to go, and are you prepared to capture that direction? You know, Drenda, we get a lot of people that get excited about their future, but they fail to realize there is a process, okay. say that with me, process, process, yes. process 
There is a process of posture, meaning that if you're not trained and discipled and disciplined and have the knowledge to capture an opportunity, then you can't catch it no matter how bad you want it. And so the Holy Spirit's first job when you begin to move with him is to posture you, meaning to put you in the right place at the right time with the right knowledge to catch that opportunity. Now, the first thing God will do is train you, though. There's always a season of preparation that the Holy Spirit will move you through. For instance, in the Old Testament, the wilderness, they were learning to trust God because they were going to face giants in walled cities that were going to be much bigger than their daily bread issues they were facing there in, this, right. in, the, in the wilderness. That's right. So never despise the days of preparation. They may seem wasted time because we're excited. We want to get out there, but they're not wasted. Preparation is never wasted. So as far as timing goes, you have to have an answer for the bills. You want to jump? What's your answer for the bills? And don't just say, well, God will take care of it. God's a God of planning. He has wisdom. Now, if, if an angel or the Holy Spirit tells you directly to jump out of a job, you jump. But typically, you don't jump until God helps you work part-time to develop the model, the franchise, the, you know, the, 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 the model of how you're going to make money. You develop it part-time on the side until you have evidence and you feel confident that you can make that move. That's right. There's a lot of other parts to that puzzle, right, but that's, right. that'll get you started. Right, and Jules question goes really kind of along, along with that question. Yeah. Um, how do you change the bad habits that got you into debt? And I would say, if you're looking at stepping out of a job, one of the things you want to do, like you were sharing, Gary, is get your finances in order, get out of debt. Prepare for that move. So that if yeah. you're stepping into a business, God's going to give you glimpses of your future. He'll show you things. It doesn't necessarily mean because he shows you the glimpse that it's time to jump out yet. And so you've got to prepare, as Gary's saying, get the training, do the research, check out all of the, the details that you need to know and get out of debt. Get your finances in a place where you can be what we used to call lean and mean in business. Yes, right. No, we were, right. we were not spending too much. We were always uh, trying to make more than we were spending and had a cash reserve so that we could take some ups and downs and some bumps along the journey with our business. And with that said, you're still going to have to step out when it's time to step out. Right. You can procrastinate that. You can have everything in order and still stay in the boat. At some point, Jesus is going to say, come and you better step out of the boat and obey his voice in faith and do what he says to do. So That's right. there is a process, there's planning. But then Jewel is asking about getting out of debt because she's right. Bad habits that get you into debt. How do you change those? I am finding that even though I'm making good strides, I find myself falling back easily. Do you have any recommendations on, the, th on the things that you did that help you break the habits? Absolutely. First thing, get a pair of scissors and cut every credit card up that you have. That is the very first thing. Replace it with a debit card, and that's how you start. Secondly, you've got to train yourself to think different. Debt is not an option. In other words, you have developed a trust system in a, a means to supply your, your needs, and it's debt. If you don't have debt options, you don't buy it and let God show you how to do it God's ways are much better and freer. And one of the first things he taught us was no debt. Let me show you my way of doing it. And two kingdoms operate differently. And when you begin to trust God's kingdom, he begins to show you how he does it. And there's freedom with how he does it. So cut the credit cards up. Stop using debt. And I always say go, go cold turkey. Just stop and learn how God's system operates in the kingdom. And it's not that you can't utilize debt at some point, but the trust system has to be broken and eradicate that yeah, trust yeah, in the wrong absolutely. system to rebuild a trust yeah. in God. You know, here's, here's, the, here's the issue. Your backup plan is your backup, is your real plan. Let me say it again. Your backup plan is your plan. In other words, your heart, if you carry a visa card around, if your backup plan is the visa's always there, your heart is really trusting in the visa. And this is what God had to teach us, that the backup plan is our plan. And we're really not trusting the Lord. And so we tell people, you've got to change that allegiance to that system and let God begin to train you in his system. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing and thanks for watching.